Hi, I'm Rachel Basco with Bossier Parish Community College. In this module, we'll cover making the singular form of a word plural. Plurals are going to indicate that the form of the word is more than one. Usually, we add the letter S. For example, if we have one rib, we would say we have a rib. If we have more than one, we add the S, and this makes it ribs. However, depending on the last letter or letters of the word, we may need to change the ending to indicate a plural case. Let's take a look. So, for example, if the word ends in A, and that is the singular form, we would add a E to make it a plural ending. For example, we have one vertebra, many are vertebrae. We added A E. If the word ends in ax, the plural ending is axes, so we went from thorax to thoraces. So what you would need to do is to memorize the singular ending and then the corresponding plural ending. These are just examples of some of the words that would change this way from a singular to a plural ending. So let's take a look at some examples. How would you make each of these words plural? Let's start with finger. I have one finger. How would we say I have more than one? That's easy. We would just add an S, fingers meaning more than one finger. I have, what if I have one artery? How would I say more than one? I would have arteries. I would drop the Y and add IES for arteries. One bronchus, if I have more than one, I would have bronchi. You would drop the US and you would add I. So how did I know this? I knew this because, we'll back up one slide, because I looked at this table here and I simply memorized the singular ending with the corresponding plural ending. There's really no other uh, quicker way to make that happen than to just purely memorize those endings. Let's look at testis. This is one testis. More than one would be testes. Drop the I, add ES. What about fungus? More than one would be fungi. Labium, which means lip, would be labia. So how are you going to learn these singular to plural forms? Simply memorize the table of those endings, making flashcards. Use the practice sheets that have been provided in this module, and then take the quizzes.